Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about the things that make modern men weak and unattractive to women. So I believe there are, uh, there are about three things here that I have for you that I think are making, or at least trying to like send out like some sort of propaganda to make men weak and unattractive, okay? Um, so what are some of these things that you need to watch out for and to kind of be really skeptical about basically if you're in, involved in any of these things or you're interested in any of these things so one of the things that can make men modern men unattractive to women and look weak is these like really rubbish these really crap male archetypes that you see in tv and movies so for example uh, example homer simpson you know the useless sort of drunk idiot and his wife is you know very <clears throat> logical and sensible right and she's got she's got an idiot husband another example would be in the in the tv show modern family you know the dad in modern family he's really weak and uh, silly and goofy and kind of useless and the wife is really competent and amazing at everything right and and another example this was more like in the i think it was the 90s and maybe early 2000s as well if you if you ever watched a show called Everybody Loves Raymond, and Raymond is like tiptoeing around his wife all the time, like he's trying, it's almost like he's walking around eggshells to not like annoy her, right? Because he's always just so scared of oh my god, what my wife's gonna think? Oh god, right? It's so pathetic. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb, right? And it's like there's there's kind of like these horrible, terrible, useless male archetypes that are just being churned out here, right? And it's making men weak because they're watching these shows thinking this is how men are supposed to behave. Because obviously at the end of the show, you know, if if, the, if if Homer's done something stupid, if Raymond's done something stupid, they always end up back in bed together having a snuggle or whatever. And everything's all fine and everything's amazing. And, you know, it's just not the reality. Like if a woman has a husband that useless, I've seen it happen, they divorce them, Right. They divorce them. So you really need to watch out for these male archetypes that just make the men look really weak and stupid. Now, some male archetypes that I think are really cool, um, that I think are really good male archetypes. Um, Maximus from Gladiator. Um, Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Uh, James Bond. You know, those are some really good male archetypes that you can sort of watch and follow um, see how they act, see how they behave around the women in their lives, and that's sort of how, what you can sort of adopt into yourself. So you can sort of switch that around instead of, you know, watching so many things with, like, male archetypes that are really weak and pathetic and stupid and dumb. <clears throat> so those are some good ones for you. Um, so it's really sad to see that so many shows, so many movies have these really terrible male archetypes. It's really sad to see. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so another thing that I think is making modern women weak and unattractive to women is more of a behavioural problem. And I think it's come about because it's very easy now to distract ourselves now with like Netflix, with uh, video games, you know, things like pornography too. That's just absolutely everywhere. You know, so easily accessible, these things. Um, so essentially... It's, it's the behavioural problem of avoiding your problems in life by distracting yourself with pleasurable activities. So there's a quote that I really like by Viktor Frankl. And Viktor Frankl was um, a Holocaust survivor. And I really recommend that you read his book, Man's Search for Meaning. But um, there's a quote that I really like by him. And he says, When a man can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. Okay? So... It's very hard these days to be seeking, you know, meaning in your life, to be seeking things that can make life bearable for you um, and bearable for everybody because life can be really tough. Life can be really sufferable and just um, difficult. But, it, and it, but it's so easy to switch off from life instead of dealing with our problems head on and trying to find something that's going to actually make life seem better for us. So what we do is we watch Netflix, we... We binge, eat on food, we drink, we change our state by drinking alcohol, 
uh, taking drugs, things like that, you know, there's just so many things that we can use to help us avoid life, okay, and a man who is attractive and who isn't weak, when he has a problem in his life, he solves it, right, he sorts it out, if he doesn't like his job, he changes it, if he doesn't like um, the relationships that he's got with his family and friends, he changes it, if he doesn't have the woman he wants in his life that he's searching, he will search for her. If he's unhappy, he will try to make himself happy. If he's unhappy with his income, he'll try to change that in some way. He has a vision, he has a dream, he has, a, you know, he has meaning, something deeper inside of him that drives him, right? It could be the meaning of maybe one day becoming a father, it could be the meaning of serving his country. It could be the meaning of um, uh, just, you know, trying to have a more happier and more abundant life. It could be that he's trying to solve one of the world's problems, right? He has a deeper sense of meaning, okay? And that's one of the things that can pull men out of these distraction behavioral things, you know, where we're just constantly just watching TV or playing video games, watching pornography, whatever it may be that you're using to distract yourself to numb the pain essentially right so you don't want to be numbing the pain you want to be facing the pain by solving it seeing if you can try and make a better situation for yourself which is often the difficult thing to do but men who are strong and not weak don't mind doing the difficult thing because yeah it's easy to sit and watch netflix all day it's easy to eat junk food because junk food is so cheap rather than making yourself a healthy meal these things are easy right and the more things become easier and easier, the more weaker and weaker it makes you become, right? So always be striving to do the difficult thing, especially if that difficult thing is good for you in the long term, but may be a bit difficult in the short term, right? It's like exercise. Exercise sucks in the short term, but the long term benefits are really good. Whereas eating junk food is really easy to do, but down the line is obviously very unhealthy, right? If you do it, do it consistently over a good number of years. So that can make you very, very weak. And, can, and this is one of the things that is making modern men weak, just things being just so easily available to them, okay? And I don't think that's just a problem with men, that's a problem with women too. But it seems to be affecting men a lot, when, especially in the dating arena. I think, unfortunately, I think a lot of uh, society can kind of uh, allow a lazy woman but they're not necessarily a lazy man and uh, yeah it's just one of those things unfortunately it's one of those um double-edged swords and uh, double standards basically <clears throat> um so then the last thing that i want to discuss here about what makes modern women weak and unattractive to, to women is not solving their problems um and saving themselves so if you've got a job that you don't like you got to get yourself out of it, right? Because if you, let's say you're in a relationship with a woman and you're sitting there complaining about your job for years and years on end and you're not trying to do something about it, then eventually she's going to become very unattractive to you and unattracted to you and become sick of you because you're not trying, you've got all these problems, so you keep on complaining about them, but you're not doing anything about it, Okay. So you want to be someone who is going to save themselves. If you're unhappy with a certain situation in your life, you got to change it. Okay? And that will make you more attractive to women. If you are willing to help yourself and save yourself and not expect someone else to save you, like a handout from the government <clears throat> or something along those lines. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get in touch with me personally and you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christinelovish.com and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.